It's been more than 140 years since Plains Bison roamed this land, so it was quite the welcome party. As the animals finally came home to Zagame Anishinaabe First Nation. We're once again um, reconnecting with the spirit of the buffalo and we're welcoming this medicine to our land. Commonly referred to as buffalo, there were once millions of bison in North America, but the population was decimated to near extinction due to overhunting as well as disease and drought. There's been a recent push by Parks Canada to restore bison to national and provincial parks, but this is a private initiative. It started five years ago when an Alberta rancher agreed to donate 22 bison to Papikasis First Nation. I wanted to do something uh, different, different something that would make a difference. And it has. Alan Bird manages the herd. We've always been the buffalo people. The community has slaughtered some bison for meat and ceremonies, a reminder of the past. They were very important to us because they give us food, they give us shelter, their hides, they give us the tools we needed to survive. They were a gift of life. The herd at Papikasis has grown to more than a hundred bison and now... Yeah. Pay it forward, it's a blessing again. So they round up a small herd, including 20 pregnant cows, to share with Zagame Anishinaabe First Nation. It's 100 kilometers down the road, and it too will use the bison for meat and traditional ceremonies. I witnessed uh, a couple of our people in tears. In five years, Zagame will share bison with yet another First Nation. For now, they celebrate the return of a sacred animal, a symbol of hope. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Zagame Anishinaabe First Nation.